The older Canon M6 Mark II and the new Canon R7, both of these two cameras are cropped sensor cameras. And they both have a megapixel count of 32.5 megapixels. So today I thought it would be interesting to do a photo comparison between these two cameras to see if one is better than the other. The Canon M6 Mark II was my first mirrorless camera, and it was the camera that I used to make the first videos on this YouTube channel. And I never thought that I was going to sell that camera, but then there was this lens that I really wanted. This Tamron 35-150 to f2 to f2.8. And to be able to afford this lens, I did have to sell my Canon M6 Mark II, unfortunately. But before I sold that camera, I did take the M6 Mark II and my Canon R7 out for a walk, several walks actually, to do some photography because I wanted to compare the R7 and the M6 Mark II when it comes to photography to see if there is any difference between those two cameras. For these photos that I'm going to compare, I did use the same lens on both cameras. I used the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 and I also used the Sigma 18-35 to f1.8. On the R7 I used the EF to EOS R adapter and on the M6 Mark II I used the EF to EOS M adapter. So both of the cameras has the same lens for these comparison photos. I did try and use the same settings on every photo. Not every photo has exactly the same settings, but most of them does to make the comparison fair. So now let's dive into Lightroom Classic to just compare the raw photos from these two cameras. So this is the first photo for this comparison. As you can see, it is a plain old flower that I had out in my backyard. And I did use a tripod taking these photos to try to align the cameras in the exact same place so the composite would be the same. If we just glance over the photos, you can see they look quite similar. The thing that grabs my eye is the colors of the photo from the R7. The colors in this raw photo pops out a little bit more than the colors of the raw photo from the M6 Mark II. But other than that, I don't think there's too much difference looking at these two photos like this. But if we zoom in in the middle of these two pictures, you can see there is some difference. The M6 Mark II is clearly more pixelated and not as sharp as the R7. The R7, you can clearly see difference between or separation between these seeds or whatever it is that it is in the middle of this flower and in the M6 Mark II it's kind of a mush everything goes into one another and it's not as clear and sharp as the R7. I also think there is some difference in the noise of these two pictures if we go down in these two pictures you can see that let's try this leaf here I think there's more noise in the picture from the M6 Mark II than there is in the R7. But when we zoom out like this and see the pictures as is, there is not that much difference. And here's the second photo that I thought we could take a look at today. Also here on the R7's photo, you can see that the colors are more saturated. They pop out more and in the raw photo from the M6 Mark II, it's more flat. But if we take a look at the photo otherwise, you can see that the same goes for this photo as it did for the first photo. There is more noise when we zoom into this photo on the M6 Mark II than there is on the R7. The R7 has a clearer image than the M6 Mark II. But looking at it just zoomed out like this, there's not much difference. You can see also when we zoom in, there is a tiny bit sharper image in the middle here than there is in the M6 Mark II, but when zoomed out again, it's almost it's almost the same picture. But let's try another one. Let's try this one, for example. Let's find the R7. And here's the third photo for this comparison. Again, looking at them side by side, again, saturation is more uh, featured in the R7's photo than there is in the M6 Mark II's photo. Again, if we zoom in on these photos, you can see the noise is more present in the M6 Mark II than there is in the R7, but otherwise they look quite similar. Here we have the next photos, and if we take a look at the focus line, you see that the focus line is almost 
at the same spot of these two photos. So the focus point is almost in the same spot also. This is a little bit more brighter image than the previous ones. Again, you can see that the colors are more saturated on the R7. And if we zoom in on the photo, you can also see what we have seen in the other photos. The R7 is a clearer image in the middle of the focus point than the M6 Mark II. The R7 does a better job capturing the image if we zoom all the way in. The noise levels are also worse on the M6 Mark II than they are on the R7. But taking a look at the photos as we usually do zoomed out, you can't see that much difference. But there is a difference when we zoom in. Here we have the next photo. And again, the colors are more saturated on the R7. This is with the 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma lens taken at 35 millimeters. And as you can see, the noise levels again are more present on the M6 Mark II's photo than they are on the R7. But zoomed out, they look quite similar. Now, this image is not taken with the same lens. On the M6 Mark II, I took this photo with the EF 50mm f1.8 and with the R7, I used the RF, native RF 50mm f1.8. So these two images are taken with the older Nifty 50 and the new Nifty 50. On these two photos, I can't say that the colors are more saturated on the R7 than they are on the M6 Mark II. If we zoom in on the image, now they are not completely lined up accurate, so we will have to move this up and down. But if we take a look at this um, Granbar, as it is called in Norwegian, don't actually know what it's called in English, but the Granbar is quite similar on these two photos, actually. It doesn't look to be that much difference between these two photos. If we take a look at the top of this branch on the M6 Mark II and just notice the noise levels of this photo, and then we go over to the R7 and look at the noise levels on this, you can see that, again, there is more noise in the M6 Mark II's photo. The last picture I want to compare in this video is a picture I took of my daughter. Now, she is a five-year-old, so you can't ex expect her to be in the same position all the time. But these two images are the two that was closest to one another for this comparison. Again, these are taken with different lenses. The M6 Mark II, I have taken this with the EF 50mm and the one with the R7 is taken on the RF 50mm. Just looking at them side by side like this, you can't say that one is so much better than the other. But if we take a look at the bokeh of these two images, just look at her hand and the fall off of the bokeh on her hand. I think the RF 50mm on the R7 did a little bit better job than the EF 50mm on the M6 Mark II. If we zoom in on this image, you can also see that the noise is clearly much more present in the M6 Mark II than it is on the R7. If we zoom in on her eye, which I try to have in focus on both photos, here you can clearly see a difference between the RF 50mm on the R7 and the EF 50mm on the M6 Mark II. If you just take a look at this photo as is like this, you can see that the RS7 has a much clearer image than the M6 Mark II has. You can also see that the bokeh is a lot smoother on the R7 than it is on the M6 Mark II, in my opinion. Not to say that the EF 50mm M6 Mark II image is a bad image. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that looking pixel peeping like we are doing now, going all the way in, you can see that there is so much more clearer image from the R7 than from the M6 Mark II. So let's try and come up with some kind of conclusion for this video. Is one camera better than the other? In my opinion, the R7 is better than the M6 Mark II. It's better when it comes to sharpness. It's better when it comes to the bokeh transition, at least with the RF 50mm compared to the EF 50mm. and at least the noise is a lot lesser in the R7 
than it is with the M6 Mark II. I didn't do any low light comparison, but just looking at these images compared to one another and that the noise difference is as big as it is, I do believe that the R7 will be better when it comes to low light than the M6 Mark II is noise level wise. So I think the R7 is a better camera when it comes to photography, but not so much better that I think you need to upgrade to it to get so much better photos. And of course you can do a lot in the editing process. So that's my opinion, but what's your opinion? Leave your opinions in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done that already and you want to see more videos from this channel. And maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.